Hi guys, welcome back to MJ Performance. Uh, just another little video update for you of what we've got in the garage at the moment. Um, I'm joined by Martin. Hi guys. He's just going to walk through with us, but we've got a couple of cars Very in at the moment. Clean. Yeah. Already got soon to be clean. So we've got our Mark III development car here, the RS. Fantastic. Great big brakes, which you've seen on some of our videos. This one's going to be going up to John Warren uh, tomorrow. So we'll do a video on that one. Um, John's been good enough to invite us along. We'll do a video of his process and you can see getting an insight of what he does for the cars because it's another service we provide to customers. Um, yeah. He will detail the cars as well, particularly if they've well, been in for a long time. Yeah, so let's have a look. What's, uh, what's Martin oh. spotted here? So there we are, guys. This is my beloved German short air pointer gun dogs right for people who don't know what that breed is um, this is what they like to do so look oh yeah they like to christen the, uh, you, uh, you the, all to, the any of the cars that I take home they like to christen them you trying to tell mm -hmm. us uh, that this beautiful car has been used as a toilet by your yeah, dogs yeah absolutely yeah well that's but, not very um, good is it that's right yeah no that's an absolute disgrace you know, I'm, I'm in a state of shock. I don't, I don't know what John's going to say about that. I'm in a state that. of shock with that. Now, yeah. I'm going to have to say to John, look, I mean, you know, it's bothered me. I haven't been able to sleep because that is on my car. Yeah. Now, you know, I don't know if John's going to tackle this. Um, I have left a, a tub of cotton buds in there. Um, Let's have a cotton buds. To see whether that will help with the situation. I reckon, well, that's a, it is the go-to detailer's yeah. Yeah. Uh, tool of choice, isn't it? Yeah. But that's yeah. what we like here, guys. We get in and drive them. Yeah. Um, you know. Um, well, we like seeing them clean, but we also like to use them. I mean, they certainly don't lose any sleep or start, um, you know, um, yeah. get into a state of. Uh, and, um, of yeah. Work. And of course, we've got this Escort. Fantastic car here. Um, I think. Uh, one owner, that one, Tim. This is one owner, yeah. So 39,000 miles. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you just so, got you got to love these massive whale tails that they got at the back. It's iconic. Yeah. Um, do love seeing had, this one um, here. As you know, we had our very good friend uh, Nick Malone, fellow RS Owners Club yep. uh, member, and Martin. And he's uh, a uh, he's uh, a cosy owner himself, he's a isn't he? Cosy owner himself, and um, he had a once over with this one. I wanted to get his opinion on it, and um, yeah, he was loves it. It's yeah. so rare to find uh, an example like that of genuine one owner, thirty nine thousand miles in. You know, it's even got. Um, it's had the. Uh, as we said before in a previous video, I think it's got a <laughs> brand new cats on it. The standard, the, the standard exhaust, which you can't get anymore. It's not available. It's obsolete. But there's a German company which um, they sort of like um, they remake it, yeah. basically to the OE spec, and that's what that's got on it. So this is completely standard. This car it's never been touched. The engine's never been apart. We, we're just in the process of just you know effectively sort of like doing a like a, a recommission, yeah. really. Um, but fantastic! I mean, that will be that will be uh, next couple of weeks. That will be going back to its uh, to its yeah. very very lucky owner. I mean, uh, so, ch check out the lines there, guys. You got the nice uh, sort of bulging arches. Yeah, there's iconic wide arches at oh, the front as well. It's it's, it's a real it's a real iconic car there, isn't a bit it? Of kit, isn't it? And yeah. um, got, you know, got my little one here as well. You know. Um, yeah, so, they look great. You know, I mean, focus, look at the focus, old focus and new there. Top. Escort, that's what that became that and yeah it's great isn't it so it's, yours um, here look Tim as we know yeah my fire looks, looks cracking doesn't it yeah we've just had a clean this week so just looking pretty yeah. good um you see that one at pure ford yeah. um wrc van got the wrc van here of course that'll be the next one going to john yep yeah we keep, keep we keep them, we, we keep him busy john don't we yeah but we i like to keep them all like uh, up on the um you know on the on the wax um, yeah of course coverage with it as well because it's it's just less work to do and it's yeah it just protects it all doesn't it so um I remember yeah. guys if you are at pure ford just look out for the the cars with the hexes on it and that's that'll be us um you can't miss us but we look that's forward like to look forward to meeting you and yeah. happy to talk that's about right, the cars yeah, yeah. and so, um so, what have we got in here well, today so, um something on the uh a little bit different, to be honest. So this is a really good customer of ours. This isn't. This hasn't got a blue oval on it. It hasn't, mate. No. Um, but you know, we cater for other. Yeah, we do, of course. Well, yes, Tim, we do. Yeah. Um, but this this is quite a nice car because um, local uh, gentleman, very very low mileage. Yeah. Uh, this one's in for uh, a bit of a service and a check over. Now this is 
one of the one of the rarer types of Cooper yeah. S. So it's the you know so it's the John Cooper Works you know GP uh, edition. Um, didn't make very many numbers of these. So yeah, great great car. Um, you know, sort of stripped out in the back. Yeah, it's a uh, Clubman one, so you have got no rear seat. It's got a yeah. rear strut brace, isn't no, it? And the yeah, he tricks it like a um, you know like a baby. Like yeah. Um, again, not sure whether he's. Um, you know, to the extent of the cotton buds, I'm not sure, but I know he does look after it. Well, of course, yeah. yeah. Well, um, you can tell that by um, the fact that of how, how well the bodywork looks. Oh, it's, it's stunning. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. even the tyres on the probably yeah. probably done not fit on tyres on it. Yeah, great condition well, alloys. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we fitted the um, brakes on this yeah, as nice well. You know, we it. had a went for the uh, upgraded uh, like EDC brakes on it, which we've done for the for the gentleman. Yeah. So. Got the um, drilled and grooved. Yeah, yeah. So for, you, for well. you, you know, for you many guys, then yeah. Got the we'll nice detail of the uh, JCW yeah. on the brake calipers as well. Talk about what great. else we got in here? You're not just about um, Ford side of things. Oh no, so. well we, we we can we can cater for just yeah. about anything, guys. Yeah. Um, we do obviously deal with Fords. We love our Fords, but yeah, we can deal with anything. And as we said on recent videos, you know, we love our Vauxhalls and Opals as well, don't we? we so do. it's and not just Fords. Plenty of videos to come on yeah. uh, on the box, especially what we're doing with our uh, with our van. Yeah, my beloved Astra van, which yeah. uh, we're going to be doing something very very special. As as Kieran in a previous yeah. video mentioned, that uh, we're going to be you know we've got a donor car, which we're going to be swapping things over with regards to the uh, you know the five star Axo. And being able to run rear discs on the back of it, um, lots and lots of plans to come for that one. You're going to be talking, uh, you know, high, normally aspirated horsepower of that one, yeah. Uh, which would be good fun, you know, bit of a, you know, bit of a technical exercise um, on circuit. It'd be good fun as well because people wouldn't expect to see a van no. tearing around the circuit, would they? And of course, you can't uh, help but see this fantastic paintwork on this. Mark so II ST. This electric orange uh, ST225, which we've already done a, a few. Um, Video yeah, so we saw this on a previous yeah. video with Timmy, didn't we? So we did, yeah. So we're we a bit fitting the oil yeah. cooler. We're a bit full, further forward with it now. So oil cooler is all done. So we've put an RS oil cooler on it. It's a bit bigger. Uh, just reconfigure the pipe work a bit. And um, the customers supplied us with some uh, orange. Um, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we saw them matrix, in the video. You know, now um, fitted. They look, they look great in the engine and bay. And match obviously the paintwork. They do. Um, nice black in uh, yeah. sort of gloss black in orange. That's it. So we've been going in the in the in the engine bay. Yeah. So we've done the um, you know what we need to do with regards to the um, you know the oil filter change. The oil filter is a little bit strangled, so that's now been uh, been sorted out. We didn't. This is an engine rebuild. Like I said before, guys, we didn't do it. It was been done. You know, further on the country, the gentleman's bought it. It's got the receipt for it. So we're not sure what's gone on internally. So, and we're not sure what, he's not sure if he's running any software, which I think I mentioned before. So what we're going to do is we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll wipe that, flash it back to uh, stock on the ECU and then we can start again because it's got all the ingredients here to run yeah. stage two, as I've mentioned before, and that's what we're going to be doing. So, um, yeah, so more to come on, uh, on another video on this one, guys. Yeah. So, um, we'll, um, yeah, we'll leave that one there for a minute. Yeah, interesting this one. It's obviously got, um, I've never really seen this sort of pattern on the side of it. It's got like a... Yeah, side stripe there, there that kind of fades broken, away. Yeah, for broken line at the end there, isn't it? But, but um, yeah, very nice car. Um, as you can see, guys, it's got the colour matching interior as well. Uh, Hi, guys, we're back here. Um, excuse the noise, but as we say, this is a working garage, so uh, can't really do much about that. But um, we'll just quickly take you through and see what else we've got. So, yeah, we've got Monty's here. Yeah. Um, seen that on another video. Really nice car. As we said so many times, can't wait to see that one finished and uh, see Monty's reaction on that one. We just have a little walk around. And, uh, um, yeah, so we've got the HR coil over there. That's the old head setup, which uh, you know, the old. Head. Yeah, so this is obviously our Focus ST we've got in at the moment. We've had it on a couple of our videos, um, which we will be releasing soon. Um, but this one's in for. As I said to Kieran, it's basically kind of in for open heart surgery. So yeah. um, he's had the head off, um, yeah. stripped it, uh, new pistons, rods. Um, but I'll, I'll bring Martin in because he's the expert and he can tell a little bit more better than I can. So yeah, yeah briefly, Martin, what's been going on with this one? Yeah, so as you as you quite rightly said when you were when Kieran was in front of you know, on camera, um, basically the build on this one is pistons. We 
as we talked about before, I'm sure Kieran mentioned it, that the um, the drive belt got itself caught up. It wasn't replaced when the cam belt was replaced previously um, by whoever is the, the gentleman who owns it bought the Virco. Um, he knew that the cam belt had been changed, but he didn't know. What he didn't know is that they didn't change the auxiliary belts, the fan belts, and one's gone and jammed itself up in yeah. the crank, in the, in the, as we discussed in the previous video, and stopped the engine, that's it. So uh, the way to go with this is just do a replacement center of the head from Ford, so it's a proper Ford replacement center of the head, and it comes with a full guarantee, etc. So there's no um, no issues there. Um, also, um, Hi guys, uh, we're back. Um, just had a customer come in, which obviously, as we've said many times before, customers and customer care is most important. So, yeah. uh, just had to break off there. But um, as Martin was saying, you're just talking yeah, about the forge build on yeah, this one. Yeah, going back onto, onto this one. Like I said, the cylinder head, as I as I mentioned, exchange head from Ford comes with a proper Ford guarantee, and you know all pre-assembled with the uh, the valves and valves for everything like that. The only thing it doesn't come with is followers or cams. So you have to retain the, the cams and the followers, which are all absolutely fine on this. So that's a straightforward swap. So we've only just popped the cam cover back on at the moment, because obviously the cam cover on this retains the cams down, right? So that's yeah. what secures them down. We've only just popped it on for a minute, just so that no, you know, it's not gonna, um, it just stops sending all the dust in. Uh, you know, and we'll, we'll be covering that up shortly. But yeah, so as far as the, the, um, the build, so we tend to, it all depends on the customer's budget, okay? but. We tend to steer away from fitting uh, any of the, you know, the cheaper branded uh, in, internal Ford stuff. We like to stick with the, you know, what we know is like the very, very best. And it's the same sort of scenario. What I would, I would only be recommending stuff that I've put in my own, in my own car. Yeah. You know? So, uh, fortunately, we can get uh, uh, Malamut Sport pistons for this, which is what we've used. Okay. And as Kieran talked to you in a previous video, he explained to you all about the. Um, you know the technical side of it we've used the bw forge rod which are excellent um no problems at all with that okay um a lot of the other stuff with the gaskets etc so we do use i think as kieran mentioned we use a it was a uh, an oe always use an oe gasket and i think when you when you've seen before tim before we put all this on we use zoomed in on the volvo uh, yeah on the actual gasket so, um, so we only use a genuine head gasket on it yeah. and it was of of standard um, you know, configuration and thickness, it didn't need to be, um, you know, uh, thicker on this one. So, I say, so guys, I mean, um, we'll yeah. be releasing a series of videos on the yeah. rebuild of this engine with Kieran. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, don't forget, it doesn't stop there, mate, because once that's all done, we don't mess around. So, this will be having, um, you know, even if it had, had a previous water pump, that doesn't matter, that goes in the bin. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be fitting this up. We always use gauge power grip, so the pump, the timing belt kit. The belts all gates power grip okay so we just find that that's what you know we like we like the gate stuff and you know we don't think there's any any anything better okay yeah. they use it on oe as well you know the manufacturers use the gate stuff um you know alongside their own logo but it's not you know um, yeah. it's quite a, quite a popular fitment so um but yeah that's it really guys i mean there's there's um you know look tim said we'll, we'll talk to you and give you updates on this and then right to the you know right to the uh, time when we do fire up okay again with this really important we use the um we'll put running an oil on this one so we'll run it for 500 miles or so um up to like a maximum 500 miles with a proper uh we use the millers um you know running in oil competition running oil and then when it comes back into us we'll dump that out and then we'll change the oil filter yeah uh, it's had an oil filter recently so like i say we'll be changing all that once it comes yeah. back in we'll be changing the spark plugs beforehand so the only thing that's really relevant to the running in oil will be the oil control system, um, you know, with the filter, etc. Right. So, oh, that's great. Um, yeah, fantastic. Just gives you guys uh, just a bit of a, you know, just a bit of an insight into, you know, what we get up to here. Yeah. Okay. And then if we can bring you content with different builds that we're doing, like I say, it doesn't have to be Ford. That's the main thing that we uh, that we focus. On. Oh, I like, like what you. I like what you've done there, um, Martin. Yeah, yeah. But well, there will be, there. as I said, there will be Vauxhall builds, and that's the main two ones, yeah. really. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, um, guys, as you can see, just from this video today, we've got a lot of cars in, uh, a lot of different types of cars, and you know, if there's something that we can do for you, as you can see, guys, anything from a humble uh, induction kit install to a full engine rebuild, we can we can do it for you. So, if you're interested, contact us at the garage on. On phone, Hang on. email. I'll turn to do the outro.
You'd be a bit greenier, look. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it's another. Timmy, yeah. yeah. We've had one interruption already, though, yeah. that Timmy Tastic one. You know, from, uh, and now we've got another interruption with Timmy Tastic I thought I'd interrupt and just ask the, our viewers if we can get at least 50 likes on our video. Yeah. That's what we yeah well, you might have done if you didn't come in on the video. <laughs> Guys, 50, 50 likes, and um, Timmy was just dancing off camera, so 50 likes, and Timmy will do a video of him dancing. So, is that, oh, yeah. is that a fair shout, Timmy? Fair enough. Well, who's doing the action? I'm Timmy really confused. Oh, go on then. Well, he's yeah. coming butted in, isn't he? He's oh, butted yeah. in, pushed his way in, pushed his way in. So Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that bell button. And let's try and hit 50 likes.